is that the global isn't just simply up there. The global, whatever the global might be, the good and the bad, it actually is also at ground level. It's in places. And so my global city model was also about that, that even when you're dealing with finance, in other words, a highly digitized sector, it needs anchors. And those anchors are also sites where we can engage, we can contest, we can... So to me, this is extremely important. Now, a second element that, that really comes also out of the Diem project, which I find very important, is that there is an enormous amount of recurrence of certain issues, what you were also saying, in many, many very different parts of the world. And if we just think of Diem, Europe, etc., though I'm hoping it will go, you know, further than Europe, really, that there are extraordinary possibilities for resonances of issues that are happening everywhere. And so if I wanted to bring in a couple of master images to sort of capture the particularity of this period, eh? which is we have long had capitalism, but I always like to say that the capitalism that we had after World War II was exploitative, it was extractive, but it also was an ironic capitalism because insofar as mass consumption was the dominant sort of logic, it meant that even the nastiest corporation wanted uh, for the middle classes to do a bit better, for the sons and daughters of the middle classes and the working classes to do a bit better. So it was in that sense sort of an ironic capitalism that breaks. That breaks in the 1980s, basically, with globalization, uh, uh, deregulation, privatization, all terms I think that we're familiar with here. And then you have the emergence of a predatory logic that becomes dominant. Both when you had mass consumption as a dominant logic, and today what I argue with is predatory logic, you have all kinds of other things happening as well, but I'm talking dominant logics. Now, a predatory logic installs itself not just in very elementary and rough sectors, you know, like mining. Mining is predatory or extractive, if you want to give it. Once you have taken out what you want, what you can get out of it, you don't care what happens. So it's different from the mass consumption period. I think this is extremely important. And um, Google. Sectors, you, I, once they had the platform, great platform, you know, but what did it do? It gathered information about all of us for free and sold it for a lot of money to corporations and firms. That's predatory. That's an extractive logic at work. Compare that to a car manufacturer who, when something goes wrong, they have to deal, bring back cars, etc. Look at Facebook in this period with the fake news bit or the, or the news that they didn't check. Th these are sectors that make billions with almost no effort. That is a very disturbing mode of economy. And again, sort of the, the I, I call it either predatory or extractive. You can choose whatever term you prefer. So now, final point on, on DM. So it seems to me that one question we might want to ask is how do complex systems change? So let's think Diem. Diem wants to make a significant change in how things are running, the distribution of the goodies, all of that. Uh, now, if it is the case, and I think that, that it is a case, that complex systems change not by changing everything. If you want to change everything, you have a major challenge. But if they change by just shifting certain capabilities from one type of organizing logic to another type of organizing logic, what I just described for the shift from mass consumption to the current period, then you're dealing with a very different mode in which you can intervene in order to change a complex system. Now, Diem then represents one sort of set of strands so it, you don't need to change everything in order to bring foundational change. That is sort of one of my points. And in that sense, back to the localities, the localities matter a lot. And if you can sort of begin to mobilize, as DM is beginning to do very well now, I think, uh, around particular issues that are both very local 
but can also travel, because that is, I think, important. Uh, then, you know, you have, a, you have a vista that suggests we can change, because we don't have to change everything in order to bring about a major transformation in the system. So that is sort of my take. <laughs>